Welcome back guys. This is Wolf Studios and here I am with another devlog and this time it's going to be a short and simple devlog, okay? Uh, if you guys have seen the previous video that where I was talking about making shorter devlogs from now on, um yeah, this is the first one in that category. Anyways, let's just quickly begin with what I'll have to show you guys today. Uh, let me just bring it to this screen. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, this is the M4 rifle that I created, but with a twist, I have actually retextured everything that I had in this weapon. I have improved every aspect of the textures. Now they look more clean, they look more consistent. And as you can see, it's looking, it's looking decent enough, right? I mean, it was one of the toughest jobs I had to do, you know, texturing, retexturing this weapon when it was just a mess, you know. Dividing everything, uh, UV unwrapping it again, setting it the appropriate vertex colors and whatnot. So yeah, it was actually a mess, but now I've finished it. Apart from that, I've also created these uh, weapon attachments. For example, a cog here. I've retextured it, or let's say um, red dot. Yeah, as you can see, I've retextured it. Yeah, as you can see. Or let's look at vertical grip for example as you can see this vertical grip has that grainy texture on it so i've added this yeah that's it um i retextured it because it was actually looking horrible the proper baking process of the textures was missing so now let's quickly go through what all i've done in terms of updating the weapon modularity of my game so this is my weapon base blueprint what I'm doing is I'll just try to keep it simple, easy and clear to understand. What I'm doing is I'm basically making a one like master blueprint that is the BP weapon base. And I'm using that blueprint to derive a variable from it inside my player, which is then getting all of the values of that particular weapon. So how am I doing it? Well, in this weapon base blueprint, as you can see here, we have a weapon mesh, which is a skeletal mesh of the weapon. And these things that are looking like a man is holding a kid. Well, that sounds very wrong. And these are child actor components. So they are basically child blueprint actors. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching these actors to the weapon mesh. And I'm just hiding and unhiding them according to some code. Okay. And these actors are, as you can see, ACOG, Red Dot, Holographic, Iron Sight, Vertical Grip. All of these attachments are the child actors. So... I can hide and unhide them according to the need. And at begin play, I'm just simply setting the firing rate, firing mode of the gun, okay? And I'm hiding all of these attachments. And if the weapon has uh, iron sight allowed on it, I'll just apply iron sight. This is a very simple function, attaching optic. I'm just getting the socket values here and I'm using the FOV and then attaching that particular actor here to the component and hiding the rest of those by running some branch checks okay of course i've given them some tags and i'm using component hashtag node so that i can hide them respectively um, apart from that uh what was i going to tell you guys yeah optics uh, i'm sorry sockets yeah so what i did was i made all of these sockets here as you can see so we have some sockets that I will attach the optic and some sockets that I can use to view the optic basically for ADS and FOV conversions, right? So what I have to do now, since these sockets, as you can see, you can just pick any one, they have a static value, right? So what I have to do, if I have to add a weapon in my game, I just need to take that static mesh and give it a skeleton, or sorry, give it a socket on that skeleton. And that socket should correspond to whatever, whatever I'm trying to add. It can be an optic, it can be the uh look through socket it can be anything okay it can be for suppressor it can be for candidate so things like that and that is what i'm feeding here in this particular function okay now i have a function that is preparing the data now this may not look familiar to you but this is for a data table so i've created a data table based on a struct that struct is weapon info so what i'm doing is i'm just picking that particular data from that data table okay using that row name and i'm sending that data onto this struct okay 
and then this struct is being updated so now my weapon base variable has that particular struct inside it and that data is there and that data has everything i'll show you guys in a minute and also i'm updating the magazine struct and that's pretty much it also i'm setting the skeletal mesh which is again placed inside the struct and this is my struct as you can see let's look at it this way we have name we have uh, the socket on web uh, basically the socket that it should attach to on the player we have max ammo current ammo things like magazine uh, fire rate damage even checks like is automatic allowed uh, holographic allowed red dot allowed because there are guns like ak-47 that don't have any sort of attachments on them i can set the mesh here i can set the montage here the player the shooting fire all of these montages and based on this struct i created a data table as you can see now the first one is m4 and it has all of these respective values now m4 is automatic and it has iron sight holo red dot acog everything on it next we have ak-47 which has just automatic and it has no iron sight because it has its own iron sight it, iron sight it does not need any sort of you know external iron sight right and it is the holo red dot acog leopold they are not allowed on ak-47 and this is the mesh and m remains the same for now there's a different fire rate so what i'm doing is i'm just fetching that data on begin play and i'm updating that data every two three seconds so that you know the value remains same that's pretty much it um, other functions we have is like attaching canted as you can see here i'm just checking the value if it is allowed then i'll just attach it if it is already attached i'll just make it visible or invisible and then i'll set the respective socket uh, attaching the vertical grip it's just a static mesh i'm just attaching it checking it and hiding and hiding it same as for suppressor so that's pretty much it yeah i haven't done much uh, since the previous devlog because i was busy with some stuff in college so yeah that's it uh, let's just quickly see it in action i hope i'm not too fast uh, this time i'm just trying to quickly uh, you know sum up everything let's see it in action let's see how it looks so yeah this is the rifle and this is the iron sight that i've created now that's how it looks and it doesn't look that bad if you ask me right now for some reason reload is bugged out and at times just doesn't happen yeah as you can see here this is the holographic i know the reticle looks a bit huge i'll have to reduce the size red dot same problem and we have ACOG, Leopold, and we have Iron Sight, we have Canted. As you can see, the code works the same. Now, what I've done is in Player Blueprint, I've made a check that if I press the two key on keyboard, I'll be able to update that particular array of data table rows and I can switch it between M4 and AK47. So if I press two here on the keyboard, as you can see, so that cycle runs every two seconds. So this was coinciding with that particular cycle and I was able to update the AK-47 instantly. There are, you know, moments when it's not updating properly. If I switch to M4, well, as you can see, M4 is attached, but it's not attaching properly. See, it's a different socket. So if I press one again it updates and the socket is now correct of course it's not the perfect way i'm not going to use it that way don't worry i'll be fixing it and making it in a different uh, better code and i know the reload doesn't work at times i'll have to you know reinforce it yeah um that's that's pretty much it guys that's all i have uh, let me show you how the ak-47 looks see it bugged out and if i press two again it will set the correct socket i know it needs some fixing that's the iron sight of AK-47 and same reload animation because why not uh, yeah that's pretty much it currently I'm using fabric nodes to snap the left hand of the player under the barrel and I've twisted it a bit so that it looks like it's holding a vertical grip I'll be improving the code using two bone IK and modify bone nodes and whenever I'll be doing that I'll show you guys how I did that uh, shout out to game dev raw for making some amazing tutorials and clearing the concepts and yeah that's it guys uh, that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to show you guys it's a quick and a short devlog and yeah stay safe and i'll see you in the next one cheers